All right, fellas, I'm back with a update on this guy. So I'm at 95K, 9,500, I'm sorry. And uh, this bitch went. It's not completely gone, it still works. But uh, the, the tip of the firing pin got smashed down and uh, there's some peening at the tail end of this firing pin. Now, both of those are causing me light strikes and it's about two every mag. It's pretty good for training purposes, but otherwise, uh, I wouldn't trust my life on this. So I slapped in a new one and just did away with it, you know, just got rid of that fire pin. I'll still keep it for now, but yep. That's all that's went wrong with this gun in that time period of me shooting all that. That's the only thing I really had to change besides cosmetics, which is like the TWS. I dig that. The TWS, I know I've had mixed feelings about it, but for the most part, TWS is pretty dope. Hold to zero and shit like that. Um, one second. Here, a little bit more. So, I just want to do a little comparison. As you can tell, the firing pin on this one, the original PSA is smashed down a little bit at the tip. And then the tail end of it, you can see there's a little lip. I don't know if you can see that that good, but this one's smooth. The one to the left is smooth. Yeah, you can see that little lip. That's catching on something. Not exactly sure, but you know that original firing pin lasts me all this time. So, I mean, I can honestly still use it. You know, if I just have a failure to fire, I just rack it and it's good to go. Otherwise, uh, tail end of the carrier, you know, nothing really changed about that. You know, it got a little mushroom, but then it kind of stopped. The ALG definitely beat the hell out of that. The step in the, the, step in the trunk in, you know, we've talked about that before. You know, that's it's straight, dude. All the research that I've done with this and it's really good to go. Now the bolt itself, it's a lot of wear. There's only one little part you can see right there. But after 9,500 rounds, that's pretty damn good. I'm sorry, two little parts right there. And that's from the hammer. When the bolt slides back in the carrier and it hits the hammer, it's that underside right there. Otherwise, the tail line of the bolt looks good. The face of the bolt looks good. Now, if I could recommend anything, I would recommend having, at least, if you shoot a lot, definitely at least one extractor, you know, uh, and at least one firing pin for an AK. Uh, but otherwise, all the rivets are good in this gun. This gun's been dropped. It's been thrown in the mud. You know, a lot of things that happen to this gun. Every single time I go and shoot, which is at least every weekend, you know, sometimes even more than that. This this gun comes with me every single time to go shoot. Um, almost perfected this weapon here. You know, it's zeroed as as dead nuts at a hundred. That's for sure. Um, that's really all I got, guys. But if you're gonna have any spare parts, make sure you always check your springs and you know maintenance your weapon and. Really, that's really it, man. Like, if you're going to be shooting a lot, and if you shoot a lot, then you probably know. Definitely check your firing pin. I started noticing whenever I was getting light strikes, you know, something was going on, so I pulled out. And this honestly happened. This started peening probably at about, like, 8,000 rounds. I started getting, like, light strikes. Maybe even, like, 7,500 rounds. Started getting a little bit of light strikes. So it lasted me a long time. I'd say that's pretty good. I don't know how these... Com block pins. This is new old stock pin from Apex. So I don't know how this one's gonna last compared to this one, but my guess is it's gonna last longer. They're just made for that. But that's all I got, boys. Be safe. God bless.